Hi everybody, this is part how to make Jumps for Your Horses part 3. Right, so this is what I did with the one yesterday. I didn't show you, so I'm going to take another one of my jumps. This one, and I'm going to show you how to make it like this so the poles actually wouldn't fall all together. So, you're going to have to color the white cardboard and I'm going to color it like this kind of color so um, you need to clear up your space and for this video you'll need two markers that you picked out you are going to need a hot glue gun so don't worry about that it happens so I just lock it so the hot glue won't fall. And you will need an adult to do it for you if you're not aged, fully aged yet, and you're not allowed to use hot glue. So I am allowed to use hot glue, and please do not burn your fingers. And please like, subscribe, and comment. Now, so you're going to color so i'm gonna take the blue one first and color right now i'm gonna get the purple and color so this is what it should look like when you're finished i colored mine half so it'll look different from the other holes. Right, now you'll need your hot glue gun to do this one for you. So you'll get your hot glue and you'll just, on the blank side, you'll put some hot glue on the ends. Here and there. Put your hot glue gun away and now stick your, your stick on to the bottom of your poles. Now press it down with something. I'm just using my fingers. But make sure it's not hot enough so mine is not really roasting. It is quite cool, so this is what you should have when it's dried out. So there. Now I'm just gonna borrow one of my poles for my other from my other jumps and I'm gonna put it on this level. I'll just sneak a flat surface to show you. Right, okay, on the second level. Now, I'm just going to use Benji. So, also, if you haven't watched how to make these, um, go search down how to make gems for your horses. And I have part two, and this is my part three. Alright, so Benji's going to jump over this. And now he's going to knock a pole over. Sorry, this was not meant to happen, so I'm just going to put it on the highest level. And now, Benji's going to jump that, but he isn't fully, and he knocked down a pole. So you might need to hold this all together. But mostly, you would probably need a flat surface, so let me just test this out on a flat surface. Now. Yeah, okay, it works better on the flat surface, so I'm just gonna show you all if you cannot see. So I don't know if you guys can see this. I by accidentally knocked down the pole. Right. So.
So let's put that in here. Now Benji's gonna jump and knock it down. And he knocked it over. So that's how it should look. But also, if you don't want that to move, you can also use some blue tack if you would like, just to stick it on. So it wouldn't fall over altogether. <laughs> because that wouldn't really make any sense. Right, so I'll get you back here. Now, I hope you all enjoyed and had fun making these. So at the end, this is what you should have. Now, if you didn't watch how to make these, so just search how to make DIY, how to make them for your horses, for your Schleich horses, and then you can watch part two and this part three. Right, so see you all next time. Bye!